The yield curve is still inverted, and the Dow Industrials are still up yes. triple digit digits. I guess the market doesn't care about that inversion any longer. Yes. A passing fad, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Look at the price of gold, please. We're around 1540 per ounce as we speak. Yeah, 1541. Our guest says it's going to 1600 bucks an ounce in three months. Finance guy Stan Barney back with us this morning. That's a rather timid forecast. It's 1541 now. It goes to 1600 in three <laughs> months. Come on. Well, when I was here last. Last time it was like below 1500, then I said 1600, but we're now forecasting 1800 by the end of this year. Eight, by the end of this year? By 1800. the 1800. Okay, why? And there's a big shift coming from equities into hard assets such as real estate, commodities, gold, okay. oil, you land. See, out of stocks into real estate, gold, oil, land, hard assets. Why the shift out of stocks? We've had 10 years of one of the best stock markets mm. I have seen in my 30-year career. We've always had recessions every seven years. It's also one of the few times when you can borrow money at 2.5% and you can get a 10 to 12% return. Don't forget, the S&P 500 has almost doubled in the last 10 years. Well, is this coming to an end? It's not coming to an end, but it's definitely feel top-heavy feels top heavy. I think there's a correction coming. And I think smart money is moving into commodities and real estate. Those will be the two biggest gainers. And when you can borrow money at 3 4% and get a 12% return, that 8% spread is implied inflation. Where do I get the 12% return? 10% return. You've had it in the stock market. That's true. That's true. Over That's the true. last five, six years. Okay, let me focus on gold because a lot of our guests and a lot of our viewers are very interested in gold, but they want to know how to invest in it. It seems to me there are three choices. You can put it in a gold mining shares, that's easy. You can do an ETF, a basket of gold mining shares, if you like, or you can buy the actual coins, buy the gold itself, handle it, feel it, and keep it. Which way do you recommend? For our viewers, that is. Yeah, so let, let me tell you, if you look at the bull cycles in gold, gold essentially has had in the last 30 years two or three big bull cycles. There was one in the mid-90s, because there was one in 1980 when gold hit $1,000 an ounce. Then there was one from 2003 to about 2014. And I think the next gold bull cycle is starting now. It may have already started in April of this year, and it's going to last four to five years. And in all these cycles, the best return has been stocks. I mean, you know, if you buy gold, let's say at 1500 it goes to 2000 you get a 20% return. The stocks will go up five times, four times. There's gold a lot of leverage. Stocks. Gold mining stocks. Especially gold. junior intermediate stocks. The major okay. stocks will go up 20 30%. They'll sort of follow the indices, the gold price. But the junior intermediate stocks get a lot of leverage. And we've seen that. They go up 10 times. I mean, I, I can give you an example of when I, in the 03, uh, when I got into one of my first gold companies, it was called Desert Sun, we started at 40 cents a share and we sold it to a major gold producer, Yamana, at over $7 a share five years later. So the potential is very good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yes. That, that's I'll the, give you that. I'll, <laughs> that. I'll give you that. And we've had several examples of that, but you have to pick the cycles. In a bad cycle, the opposite yeah. is true. Gold's, gold stocks have been down 70, 80 percent in the last five years. So your advice to our viewers is maybe get out of some of your regular stocks and go into gold mining shares because you think the big rally in gold is starting now. $1,800 an ounce by the end of the year. Buy gold mining shares now. That's Stan Barty? That's Stan Barty. I'm also saying take 5 or 10 percent of your, of your portfolio and some people like to feel more secure. They don't want to buy gold coins, but for the bulk of the younger, intermediate, middle middle-aged people that have 10, 20 years before retirement, I would definitely buy some junior and intermediate gold stocks. Okay, got it. Stan Barney, yeah. thank you very much. Clean cut, good advice. Yeah. We take that. Thank you. <laughs> thank good you. stuff. All right.